Thank you. Correct, correct, correct. He's an award-winning photographer and filmmaker who's traveled the world and lived around the world as well. His latest project has taken him in the heart of downtown Kingston. And we're talking about Ryan Eccleston, and he's here with Evan Williams, who is a handcart maker, Evan? Yes, I am. Yes. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. It's morning time. Um, Ryan, I'm going to start with you. Talk to me about um, your journey as a photographer and filmmaker. Where did this all start? Uh, childhood. You know, um, I grew up in a family that we had to move a lot. Yeah? So, Why? Why is that? Because of my father's work. Mm -hmm. So that in itself, you're always documenting and comparting and, you know, archiving. Mm -hmm. So that just, I just got older. Mm -hmm. And then when time came to go to college, I decided those are the majors I would take because yeah. I didn't know anything else to do. <laughs> right. Um, and, and so, as I said, you've lived around the world. We'll yes. talk about where and where later on. But your latest project is The Heartbeat of the City. Yes, ma'am. Tell me about that. All right, The Heartbeat of the City. It came from uh, curiosity. Mm. I said to myself, why don't I see the pushcart derby anymore? Mm. You know, it was invisible to me, and that's how I start with any project, mm -hmm. was just from curiosity. Mm -hmm. So I started to research. And then I came across this gentleman's name. So I reached out to, and then after that, a friendship formed. Yes. And then from that, now he's telling me about what the ins and outs yes. of the handcart. Mm -hmm how it's important, and so, and he, and he was educating me as well. Yes. And from that, that was the naissance mm -hmm. of the project. It's interesting, because people see hand carts, and I think most of the time, they think the person who's pushing the cart is the person that's put the cart together, Evan. Yes. Um, <laughs> they, don't, they don't realize that there's someone who actually does this, makes them, designs them, puts them together. How did you get involved in, in the hand cart making business? Right. I do hand card for me at 13 years old. Mm. Well, my grandmother used to sell in a carnation market. My mother used to send me there. So every time I go to the market and see a hand card, I fall in love with this thing and just keep moving around. Yeah. And eventually, I start studying. Mm -hmm. Turn it over when I get the chance, look underneath it how it design. Yeah, so the mechanics. Yeah. So eventually, me becomes the man who create the the sickest one you can ever think of. Because <laughs> me is a designer, you know? You right. I build a lot of things. I build sound for every man. Mm -hmm. I have an image of a man. I build handcart for every car. Yeah. All different design. Building. When it comes to board, I'm the man. When it comes to board, you're the man? Yeah. What do you say to me, Evan? Anything out of board, I make with pallet. Yeah? Pallet where people throw away. Yeah, 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 yeah. You do that. So people, so people come to you and they say, listen, everyone, I want a hand cart, you know, but I know Jamaica people, you know, we like to be unique and trend setting. Yeah, like the I want a cart, but I don't want my cart look the way they are. Is that how it starts? Is that how it works? Or you no, make well, one and you call <coughs> somebody and say, hey, I have something for you, you know? No, when I build a cart, we go to the depths by design. Mm -hmm. When I make everything look the same. Yes. So every time I design the next one, there's a different feature inside I made where I say, so that wonderful look, you know. Mm -hmm. Every time I build a different one, there's always somebody who sees it and says, well, I mean, one control that one, you know. Yes. When it comes to the racing, as you mentioned, the pushcart derby, mm -hmm. I was a captain for my team. Captain? Yeah. What are you saying? We had three different teams. Some from Tivoli Garden, some from West Street side, and still, the art of the city. So who makes up a team? How many people and what do each member of the team? Well, what them do? my team and me had 30 people involved. 15 driver, 15 pillion. 
Uh, used to go up a Stony Hill up a Red Girl Ring. Yeah. 2000, the last race ran. Yes. And I tried everything in my power to bring back that. Still not getting ahead. The last time somebody told me said the sports get outdated. Uh, when Ryan come along and said, Tony, push cat derby. Mm -hmm. I get called from China, mm. Trinidad, mm. America. Mm. Everybody come and say, Tony, I can help you bring back push cat derby. Yeah. This is man, this is man, the only man if you make me up on TVG, I talk about it now. Yes. And I appreciate it because anytime I build a new racing cart, mm -hmm. I get all the forward and the yeah man, yeah man. But here, this is where it stops. Yeah. Ryan, that's the power. This is what I've been saying to people about yes, the power of film yes, and the power of photography. Yes. That you, you captured the essence, it's the heartbeat of the city. Yes, and that people all around the world were intrigued by it. Yes, right. And are now calling to reinforce yeah. the work. Um, so talk to me about the journey of Heartbeat of the City. You came, you filmed, and, and where did it go from it there? It didn't start there. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's the, the story or the information is just so much. Mm -hmm. You can't put it in one hour, two hour. So what I've done is broken down each um, verse, I call them verses, mm -hmm. in seven, uh, 12 to 17 minutes, mm -hmm. and each verse has a theme. Oh. F verse one is the introduction to Tony. Mm. After that is the introduction to other cart builders mm. and people who work in the market. Mm. Verse three goes on to people who clean the city at night. Uh -huh. Four goes down to specifically Rose Lane. Mm. Five goes down to the young men and the young women who push the cart. Mm. So, we still have work to do. But on verse one is finished, verse two is finished also, mm -hmm. and the other verses are set for a later release this year. This year. And verse one right now is set, well, I premiered it in Kingston Creative. Yes. Uh, in this past November. Yeah. And now it's also slated to show in Lagos, Nigeria. Wow. Yes, that's Ooh. part of IREP Film uh, Film Fest. Yes. Yes, ma'am. That's a power of film. Yes, ma'am. Um, spreading our culture and sharing our culture with everyone. Most definitely. Um, we're going to wrap up, but for persons who want to see your work, sure. um, to support your work, where do they find you and where sure, do they find sure. your work? You can find me on my website, um, www.com, th mvic.com mm -hmm. you can also find me on Instagram E-C-C-L-E-S-T-O-N underscore underscore so my last name Eccleston underscore underscore and I run my studio studio Eccleston worldwide so okay. that's it awesome so guys look out please go and support him he's capturing the heartbeat of the city the heartbeat of Jamaica really um, and a lot of times people just see the surface yeah. of us yes. and it's always great when they see what makes us move and Most what makes us the Most great nation that we are and people like Evan um, are a big part of that story. Yes, Ryan sir. Eccleston, photographer and filmmaker and Evan Williams, hand cart maker. Um, when we come back, we're going to have a chat with recording artist Kalia. Stay tuned. <laughs>